you will find a full list of your projects, the option to create new projects and export your projects under the Projects tab. To create a new project, click Create New Project. The only mandatory field is Project Name. All other fields are optional. If you like, you can add additional information like project number, project start and end date, a short description, the address and a project website. Additionally, a picture can be uploaded that will act as a cover photo and be used by default for all reports related to this project. In order to have others work on your project, they have to be assigned. Choose a project from your list and then click Add Users. You will find a list of users that are already part of the project and available users that can be added to the project. Click on the green plus icon to add available users. After choosing the user, you can assign a role for this specific user. By clicking the red X button, you can remove users from a project. Administrators and watchers are predefined roles. If there are tickets assigned to removed users, those tickets will be switched to not assigned. The search field gives you the option to search for specific users. Next to the email address of a user, you will find the checkbox mobile. By clicking it, selected projects will be available on mobile for the respective user. Once you have created groups under the groups tab, you can assign whole groups to different projects. To learn more about creating groups, go to the chapter Groups. You will find a list of all available groups on the right side of the screen. If you have several groups, you can search for them by using Filter Groups. You can assign a project to one of the available groups by clicking the plus icon. After selecting a group, it has to be assigned a role. Learn more about creating roles in the chapter Roles. After selecting a role, the members of the chosen group will be displayed. Confirm at this point once more to finally add the group. Added groups are visible now. You can edit the role of a group or remove them from a project by clicking the red X button at any time. You can assign default or custom ticket layouts to each project. You will find available ticket layouts on the left side of your screen. Right above, you can search for specific layouts using the search field. Using the Glean plus icon, you can add more than one ticket layout to the respective project. Where using multiple layouts, you can choose the corresponding list for the layout at this point. In addition to lists that can only be used with this project and that can be created under the List tab, you can create lists for more than one project under the Ticket Layouts and List menu. After selecting a list, you can configure which parts of the list should be hidden by clicking the gear icon. Multiple attributes can be chosen in dynamic list fields. After filling in all required fields, you can assign this layout by confirming. Here you can define lists that can be used within a project in your layouts. To create a new project list, click Create New Project List. The first step is to give the list a name. New entries can be quickly added by clicking the green plus icon. Additionally, you have the option to import lists as an Excel or CSV file. After saving, your new list is ready to use in projects. To give your project some structure, you can use different layers. For example, layers can be used to picture ground plans or different parts of a building. How they are actually used in a project depends on your own specific requirements. In the left part of the screen, you will find a list of already added layers. In the right part of the screen, you are able to create new layers and to upload new plans. To create a new layer, click Add New Layer. Add a name to this layer. Now you can assign a plan to the layer, which can be uploaded by clicking on Choose Files from your computer or via drag and drop. 
After clicking on the Save button, your plan will be processed. If you want to organize several layers hierarchically, you can use this function. For example, you could group the floor plans of your project together. If you want to quickly edit an existing project, click on the Details tab. At the bottom of the screen, you will find options for saving, archiving, or deleting the project. You can also copy an existing project here or export project data. If you want to protect the project status from further deleting, you can move the project to your archive by clicking on the Archive Project button. Tickets in your archive projects cannot be edited. However, Archive projects can be reactivated at any time.